10 Reasons, Why Do People Cheat According to Psychologists? In this video, I'll show you also, the best way to stop cheating from destroying your relationship. Welcome to Lifestyle Therapy Channel, stay tuned. To get access to the latest from Lifestyle Therapy, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and turn on your notifications. Number 1, The Situation. When you're in a different setting, or not quite yourself, perhaps when you're on vacation, drunk or under a lot of stress, you may have a momentary urge to sexually explore, that would not necessarily be part of your stable, everyday behavior. Landmark events, such as an upcoming 40th birthday, may also lead you to cheat. One study showed, people who are 29, 39, 49 and so on, may seek an affair, as they approach a new decade to try to find meaning in their life. There are some situations that make cheating much more likely, and they're pretty easy to guess. If you're in a situation where you're spending a lot of time around very attractive people, of course the risk of infidelity is going to go up. Same with the type of work one does, jobs that involve personal discussion with other people, physical contact with other people, and a lot of isolated alone time with another person, carry a higher risk of infidelity. Like working alone with someone at a store. Or a male photographer whose job is to take pictures of beautiful models. Another risk factor, is when the gender ratio is unbalanced, and there are far more men in a workplace than women, or vice versa. Number 2, they want more sexual partners. Perhaps our mating habits are more akin to animals than we think as, the second most common reason for cheating, was that people wanted greater variety of sexual partners. As feral as it may seem, this may have little to do with the person being cheated on, and everything to do with the insatiable cheater, who cannot satisfy their multifaceted sexual urges with just one partner. The lack of sexual satisfaction in relationship, is the most common reason cited by individuals in some study, both women and men who enter into affairs, are hoping to improve their sex lives. They may enjoy many other mutual activities but, for whatever reason, the sex is not working out for them. Number 3, They weren't ready. Some people try to settle down and find the one too early. Once they have found themselves in a serious relationship, they realize a bit too late, that it's not what they wanted after all. Not everyone knows what they want want right away. Some people need to go through trial and error to get there. Usually this person is young, which means they are still busy finding themselves. Number 4, Personality. People who are less empathetic, less agreeable, and less conscientious about their actions, are more likely to cheat, which makes sense. If you don't hold yourself accountable for your actions, of course you're more likely to cheat. Number 5, Lack of Emotional Satisfaction. Seeking emotional intimacy, can be nearly as compelling a reason to have an affair, as can seeking physical intimacy. Participants who stated the need for emotional closeness in an affair, felt they were lacking a connection to their primary partners. Number 6, They were conditioned to think cheating is okay. It's unclear whether there's a so-called cheating gene, but some research suggests having a parent who had an affair, leaves you at a greater risk of cheating on your partner too. A small study published in the April 2015 edition, of the Journal of Family Issues, for example, found that people who had at least one parent cheat on the other, were twice as likely to commit infidelity, compared to people whose parents remained faithful throughout their marriage. Number 7, Anger and Revenge. Sometimes infidelity can be as simple as an act of pure age, with 43% of people, saying they cheated on someone out of anger. Either they just had a really infuriating day at the office, or perhaps they wanted to get revenge on that person, for already cheating on them. Unfortunately, if you have cheated on your partner for any reason, you may be more likely to be cheated on if your partner hints that he or she isn't over it, and wants to get even. In fact, these individuals may feel entitled, and that they are less guilt as a result of you having been unfaithful to them. However, the reality is the opposite. Studies suggest that people who had a so-called revenge affair, felt just as much shame and guilt, as their partner did. Number 8, Trapped. 
some people feel trapped in their current relationship. Maybe he families are too involved, maybe there is a child involved, or a financial dependency. Sometime he or she may feel, as if they have no choice but to stay within that relationship, and there could be so many reasons why. When these people cheat, it's just to break out of their cage once in a while, and feel freedom for a short while. Sometimes feeling trapped can deteriorate a relationship. Number 9, Something was missing. Everyone has certain things they need to acquire from a relationship. There was just something in this relationship, that wasn't quite fulfilling those needs. This is very common, and there are a large number of different things, that could have been missing. It could be missing excitement, chemistry, love, lust, etc. Maybe this person didn't feel loved or cared for enough. Whatever it is, maybe this person is no longer happy in the relationship. Number 10, Love. Lack of love. Feeling that your partner is not the one for you. No longer feeling passionate love, or even falling out of love. Perceiving the relationship to be boring, dull or stagnant. Lack of love is a powerful motivation, it's definitely one of the stronger ones. They just weren't that into you. Unfortunately, they just weren't into you enough to be faithful, and it just wasn't meant to be. It's possible that the relationship, just wasn't as serious on their end. In this case goodbye, and good riddance, at least you found out sooner than later. Everyone deserves to have their affection reciprocated. Falling in love with someone new. Very few people, indicated that they had fallen head over heels, for the person with whom they had the affair. Again, emotional intimacy plus sexual closeness, seems to be a more important factor that leads partners to stray. What's the best way to stop cheating from destroying your relationship? The best first step you can take, to protecting your relationship from infidelity, is to have a frank and honest talk with your partner, about your definitions of infidelity. Nail down exactly what both you and your partner consider cheating, you both have to agree on what kind of behavior is cheating. That way, you both know the boundaries on the relationship, so you don't inadvertently hurt your partner, or vice versa. That, plus having open, honest lines of communication in your relationship, are the two best ways to prevent infidelity. When you can honestly talk about what you're dissatisfied with, as well as agree on which behaviors are acceptable, and which are not, you're much less likely to experience infidelity in any way in your relationship. I highly recommend you to read this book, The Science of Trust, Emotional Attunement for Couples. In this book, John Gottman presents a new approach to understanding and changing couples, a fundamental social skill called, emotional attunement, which describes a couple's ability to fully process, and move on from negative emotional events, ultimately creating a stronger relationship. Here are 18 quick tips, to stop yourself from cheating. Avoid constant messaging and phone calls. Remember you have a partner who loves you. Avoid thinking what it could be and what you do not have. Control your urge to meet up for just one last time, even if it is to end. Remember it is not over until it is over. Talk to your husband or wife, about what you expect from your relationship. Avoid waiting for the right moment to stop cheating, just do it. Imagine what will be the consequences if you are found out. Concentrate towards making your present relationship better. Meet long lost friends or new ones, along with your girlfriend or boyfriend. Count your blessings and you will see that life has treated you well. Avoid criticizing and comparing your partner. Avoid comparing your situation with the movies, you are for real. Show respect towards your partner's trust and emotions. Spend more time with your partner, do special things. Avoid being negative about your relationship, or married life. Share with your partner if you are not happy about something, it works. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you find it useful, don't forget to share it, and make sure to subscribe to see more video in the future. Thanks for watching, and see you soon.